Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. The songwriter Tiffany Red is exposing the industry and she's also exposing Beyonce for taking credit for songs that she didn't write. Now, if you don't know who Tiffany Red is, she has written for artists like Jennifer Hudson, Fantasia, Tamar Braxton, Seven Streeter. She wrote Zendaya's hit song, Replay. She's written for Cassie. In fact, not too long ago, she actually did a whole interview speaking out against Diddy on Cassie's behalf. And she actually witnessed Diddy mistreat Cassie. So she spoke out about that and she's not backing down she's exposing some more and i'm telling you this is the year of exposure because it seems like every week somebody is getting put on blast now tiffany has been speaking about the unfair practices in the music industry and unfortunately when songwriters write a song for artists the artists get a percentage of the publishing even though they didn't write a single thing so this is very common Beyonce is one of the artists who is notorious for doing this. She not only gets credit for songs that she doesn't write, but she also gets a big percentage of the royalties. And that actually cuts into the money that the actual songwriters are supposed to make. And she's been kind of able to move around in the industry and do this because she makes songwriters sign an NDA when working with her and they can't complain or speak out against her because she's Beyonce. I mean, who's gonna check her? Who gonna check me, boo? Now, Tiffany Red has not worked with Beyonce in particular, but she is speaking out because she's tired of hearing about Beyonce's unfair practices and she's tired of the industry altogether because the songwriters are not getting paid what they used to. I mean, the songs aren't really selling like they used to. They're being consumed through streaming and streaming doesn't really give artists that much money like that. So nobody is really getting paid from music like that. A lot of times artists have to go out and perform and make their money on the road. But when it comes to streaming, they get a little change here and there and they have to split up the money so many different ways. And also a lot of the money goes to the labels and the songwriters basically get pennies. They don't get paid enough to live on. They hardly get paid. And Tiffany is over it. She called Beyonce out. She actually called her out after Jay-Z gave his speech at the Grammys. Now Jay-Z called out the Grammys for not giving Beyonce the album of the year award. And Tiffany said this in response to that. She said, maybe Beyonce will win the Grammy for album of the year when she starts paying songwriters and stops taking publishing from them. I hear it's around 15 to 30%, by the way. Grammys don't pay the bills. Hashtag pay songwriters, Beyonce, Jay-Z, Parkwood, and Rock Nation. Woo wee. So this is a very interesting comment that Tiffany made, and it might actually give some more perspective into why Beyonce probably has not won album of the year. I do think Beyonce should have been one album of the year, especially for her album Lemonade. That's just my personal opinion. But if it's an open secret in the industry that Beyonce has unfair business practices when it comes to paying her songwriters fairly, that probably could be one of the things that is hindering her. I'm not saying that's the case, but it could be a very plausible reason. Also, she's not really known for writing her music. And if you look at some of the past winners of album of the year, like Taylor Swift, Billie Eilish, Adele, John Baptiste, Bruno Mars, they are all known for composing their music. They are songwriters. Beyonce is not really known for writing her music. So it is possible that she probably is not winning album of the year because of those factors. However, there are more reasons than that. I do believe that the Grammys is highly political. The voters have their favorites. And I do think there is kind of a racial aspect to it because I don't understand why a black woman hasn't won album of the year in 20 plus years. Everyone knows that SZA should have won for SOS. It's a no brainer. Even Billboard said that she should have won this year. She was snubbed for album of the year, but I don't wanna get too off topic. <laughs> I'm still upset about that. But anyway, back to Beyonce and Tiffany Red. Now, Tiffany Red called out Beyonce again in her live video. And this is what she said, y'all. She had a lot to say. Y'all call the internet Beyonce's internet. So is it not fair to um, come to the queen about evolving her business practices. This is not the same music industry it was when she first started. 
publishing makes far less money than it used to. If you're not writing the single, you're not making any money. So every percentage that we get of publishing matters because it's all we got and it's worth so much less now. But does that stop her from taking publishing despite that? No. Would I like to see a change? Would other songwriters and producers like to see a change? Yes. How do I know? Because they tell me all the time. It should not be too much to ask a queen to modernize her business and pay songwriters a livable wage. It's not too much to ask. She made $579 million off that Renaissance tour. Ask the writers how much they made. And when I was in the car, I heard that song, My Power by Beyonce. And I was listening to those lyrics and they just started to like bother me. Cause I was thinking, listening, listening and it's saying, um, you won't take my power. And then when I think about how many songwriters that have written for this woman whose power has been taken, and it made me think about that song, Break My Soul, You Won't Break My Soul. And then I think about how many songwriters' souls have been broken as this woman has taken the publishing, which is the only thing that they have. They're publishing in a big chunk too. You watch, you're literally watching Beyonce get, get more famous, rich, bigger off these lyrics that you write, but you don't have anything to show for it. That's breaking somebody's soul. It makes me think about that song, Freedom. We don't just want to watch you be rich. How's that free? I think Beyonce is a brilliant artist. I also think that Beyonce is a hypocrite. Lyrics of liberation, don't pay the people who write them. I talked to somebody yesterday, somebody's uh, a manager of somebody who is a writer and producer on Renaissance, okay? The record is one of y'all faves. The song was written six years before it got to Beyonce. She got 25% of the song. I've talked to another, another writer who wrote and sang on one of your favorite songs. Credit not right, all kind of shit fucked up. His business still isn't handled. Beyonce was on tour last year with that record, with that person's vocals, all that. The reason why people who work for Beyonce don't talk is because they're all on NDAs. Because that's also how she works. She silences people so that nobody can speak. I'm not a writer that's written for Beyonce. I haven't shot. I haven't sh shot my shot at Beyonce because I don't. I'm not willing to give her any publishing. Not because I haven't had the opportunity. I've had the opportunity to work with everybody, and I've turned down a lot of stuff because I'm not willing to play these games. There's a massive power dynamic happening. Please don't act like it's easy to negotiate with Beyonce and her team because it is not. If it was, if that was the case, there would not be so many people coming to me like Tiff. This is how much was taken. It's not negotiable. It's not. These are the terms, which means, okay, cool. Then we work for you, Beyonce. So that means you're an employer. I remember having a conversation with a writer who wrote on what was the record Beyonce did after or before Renaissance? I can't remember whatever the record was. I remember talking to one of the writers and talking to them about how much of the publishing she was taking. And this writer was like, look, Tip, I, I don't want no smoke with me. Like, I just let her take the publishing. That's bullshit. And, you know, the thing that the thing that burns me up the most about Beyonce, and this is why I'm speaking about her specifically is because Beyonce is Queen B. Beyonce is a black artist. Beyonce represents black excellent, black black excellence. Beyonce's team, like the people who work with her, these writers that I'm talking about that are exploited are they're us. My comments about Beyonce not winning album of the year and me saying, you know what, maybe karmically it's not coming to you because of the way that you're doing creatives. I meant that with everything in me. I hear the racial discussion and all the things and I think that that has its place. But this has its place too. Beyonce could absolutely reform her business practices. Beyonce could absolutely reform Parkwood's business practices. It's a decision. It's a fucking choice. It's a choice to take 
25% of publishing that you didn't earn. That's wage theft. That's what that is. That's bullying. That's abuse of power. That is the power dynamic. That's the gun. People out here think they're going to lose their opportunities, lose their jobs, lose their relationships, lose everything trying to negotiate. And y'all fucking know that shit. I'm not saying wait on Beyonce. I'm not. But I am going to say what I need to say about it. Because for the last almost four years now, I have had so many writers come to me about her specifically. People's splits still aren't done. People still aren't getting paid. People still aren't being seen. People still aren't being heard. People are still being silenced. People are still under NDAs and some more shit. While Jay-Z's up there on Sunday talking about why it's not fair Beyonce don't got a Grammy for album of the year. So hell yeah, I have something to say. Cause it's hypocrisy. Also, not for nothing, Taylor Swift is a songwriter. She writes her albums. So that's what Tiffany had to say. And she's really calling Beyonce to the table right now and trying to get her to change. And honestly, I think Beyonce needs to take heed to this message because this is probably the reason why she hasn't won album of the year for real. Beyonce has the most Grammy wins in history and that's due to some of her connections on the Grammy board. I do believe that Jay-Z is a part of the voting committee and some people say that he might even be a part of the secret voting committee. But even with all of those connections, there are some people who still won't give her that album of the year. They're intentionally snubbing her. And who knows, maybe it's because of her practices behind the scenes, who knows? But I do find it interesting that this is an open secret in the industry, but songwriters still want to work with her. And the question is why? Why work with her then complain about it? Like, what's the reason? <laughs> you know how she gets down? You know that she's not trying to pay y'all. You know you're gonna be sitting there working in the Parkwood sweatshop all day long, slaving in the studio, overworked and underpaid, and you probably won't even get the recognition you think you're gonna get. And the question is, is it all really worth it? I mean, I understand how big it is for a songwriter to have Beyonce's name on their resume. It's a big deal, but it doesn't pay their bills. <laughs> Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bill? No, she's not gonna pay your bills. So why work with her? I think what it boils down to is this. There are some people in the industry who are willing to set aside their principles and their standards in order to rub shoulders with bigger names. And this happens a lot when it comes to Beyonce. A lot of people are willing to just shut up, suck it up, and just be happy with the fact that they get to work with Beyonce. At the end of the day, it is their choice. So they have nobody to really blame but themselves. They shortchange themselves when they sign up for that knowing they're not gonna get paid what they're rightfully owed. However, I do think Beyonce needs to start paying attention to this. I hope she watches this video. I hope she sees what Tiffany Red said and realizes that people are whispering about her behind the scenes. And this could be why she hasn't gotten that album of the year. So for her next album, her country album, she needs to strongly consider changing the way she does things. She really does. So anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.